thoughts, Terminator 6, Dark Fate, film, minisode. There's something I didn't completely appreciate when I first watched the movie and, you know, now having had some time to reflect more on it, I realized, you know, when Sarah comes face to face with Carl, he genuinely does appreciate that what he did caused her significant trauma. He doesn't say, that was 20 years ago, get over it, which is the kind of thing that we would have seen in a lot of movies that, like, I don't know if it's the best example. I, maybe I should have thought of a good example and written it down. But I've already started the video, so here we go. In the original Total Recall, you know, there's there's a guy who says to, to, to Schwarzenegger, you got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. To which he replies, look who's talking, or so, something like that. You know, basically making fun of the guy's appearance. He has no idea what that guy is referring to. And he's making light of the trauma. And, yeah, in the 80s and 90s, that was something, you know, yeah. Movie heroes made light of trauma. And you're supposed to just suck it up and get over it. And, you know, I realize not everybody likes this, but we are slowly, at least, moving towards a more empathetic view. And, yeah, you know, like, at least to get back to my notes, he respects that she's still grieving, Carl and Sarah. And as far as I recall, he never once falters in this. And an argument could be made that the movie does approach some of it with humor. At one point, he responds to her grief with a deadpan, I understand. You know, according to IMDb, her line that gets this response is, when this is all over, I'm going to kill you. And, yeah, to what, what I would say, though, is I have not seen very many Hollywood blockbusters where a strong male character acknowledges to a female character that he caused her pain and that ultimately he won't be able to undo causing her pain. He has tried to help give her purpose and prevent other Terminators from killing and thus causing pain, but he can't use these films' time travel to undo it. Women's pain in a lot of movies is just a plot point. It's why the male hero goes to get revenge. And here... It's, yeah, the, the, Carl acknowledges her pain, and this is, and this is the Terminator, this is, you know, a lot of people hang on the, the every word, yeah, some, something like that, of the, the T-800, you know, whenever he appears in one of these movies, you know, re recite his lines, you know, for, yeah, ever. And, yeah, here he actually acknowledges, I did something wrong that caused someone else pain. I can't undo it. I can, you know, all I can do, when, when, when that p person confronts me with their pain, I'm not going to, I'm going to acknowledge their pain. I'm not going to make light of it. And... The, the, you know, and I'll do what I can to the, the, yeah, you know, help in, in the, you know, in the situation that it actually is. There are a lot of people who don't, this is, yeah, let me, let me just start by saying that a lot of people are raised in this way. A lot of people are told by culture to be this way. But ultimately, a lot of people... So, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that there's something wrong with you if you've ever done this. I'm saying... You know... Let this be your new example. Let this be the way you define how a masculine powerful man handles this kind of thing because 
Everybody makes mistakes. No matter how hard you work to do everything right, you're going to make mistakes. And it is difficult to look that right in the eye and to admit, yes, I did something wrong, especially if it's something you can't undo. And a lot of people have been taught that the, the way to do it is, you know, that basically, I think, yeah, I guess the, the, I mean, yeah, I guess more the, the way, rather than, I guess what I'm trying to say is they haven't been taught how to deal with it. They've basically been taught that, or if they, they have any example of the, to, to go on, it's to make light of, of the pain or, you know, the, the yeah, you're, you're not supposed to admit your, that you've ever done anything wrong. And that's the thing, the, the, excuse me, ultimately, the, the, yeah, you know, the, the movie is, the movie is in part about Sarah's pain, and, you know, the, the, I mean, the, when she, she knows that the the when they get to this yeah. yeah when when they get to the cabin that this is what's the word she knows that this is where they've been getting help so i mean i suppose you know maybe maybe she figured well if there's a terminator here it must be that that terminator killed the person who actually was helping us, but then why did he open the door? Why didn't he shoot through the door instead? You know, the, the, yeah. And the, but, but yeah, she doesn't hesitate to try to shoot him. And only by the grace of grace is she prevented from, you know, I, I get, yeah, I mean, she wouldn't, no, actually, I guess there's there's a chance that she would have done very serious damage to him. So, yeah, you know, the, the, yeah, the movie is in part about her pain, and we see what it drives her to do. And once Carl is in a position to acknowledge her pain, he does so without reservation. He never says, you're wrong to feel this pain. He never once, you know, he, he explains, I followed my original programming, but he also does, you know, and he doesn't, unless I'm completely misremembering, he never says what, uh, he, he, you know, this is obviously not a direct quote, but I'm saying he never says what I did you know, the, the the awful thing I did is no longer as awful because of what I've since done for you and for this surrogate family of mine. He never says that. He tried to do good, but he can't take back what he did. And he's not... Yeah, I... I I'm, I'm very very grateful that we're moving in this direction today that we you know finally we have and i acknowledge you know feminist frequency brought up the the joke about the i forget if uh, i said a lot about it in my initial review but the yeah there's that joke about how now he does like what's it called interior decorating you know and Obviously, the joke, you know, it, yeah, the, the joke is, oh, look at this big, you know, mass of muscles, this masculine he-man. He's doing interior decorating, even though that's traditionally associated with femininity, you know. But ultimately, the movie doesn't do a lot to make him, to, to turn him into 
an, an outright joke. They have jokes involving him, but the the character is still, you know, and that's all, yeah, and another thing is, he genuinely does appear to be a good, like, there's, you know, he points, he's, he says that there there isn't a sexual relationship between him and his surrogate wife, but that he's still, you know, he's a good, he, he makes a good partner and sort of surrogate father for various reasons. And the things he mentions, again, someone's played for, for jokes, for laughs, but the things he mentions are things that men can do for the, the woman in their life. You know, we're, we're talking about straight relationships. Ultimately, the you know, this is still a Hollywood movie. It's not gonna have the it's not gonna have the guts to actually make this huge part of this be an actual you know yeah, non cis, non straight relationship, obviously. Hopefully we'll get there. You know, I mean we are getting See, I hesitate to call Lady Thor. We're getting Jane as Thor because she's just Thor. The the let's see. Yeah, that's you know obviously not a spoiler. Everybody knows that by now. The the let's see. Yeah. So what I'm getting at is he he is a role model for straight men. You know, if, yeah, I mean, he learns, you know, he's a great listener, and he'll change a diaper, and, you know, th this these sorts of things that, and these are things that are often, like, made jokes of, like, you know, a lot of, there are a lot of jokes where the, the premise is literally, can you believe women actually expect men to change diapers? Or to be a good listener, and in this, you know, you could you would say it, it. The the, yeah, there is. In part, a joke there, but it is also saying, you know, I mean, he, for all of these years, he has been. In enough for her, you know, not not everybody. Not everybody has the same expectations from their partner. But to her, it was enough. And that's the... Yeah. You know, we literally have Arnold Schwarzenegger saying that, you know, it's... It's a good trait. If, you know, if you are a straight man in a relationship with a woman, in a long-term relationship with a woman, change a diaper. Listen to her. You know, and... Yeah, it's, it's, I, I really respect that, and, yeah, like I said, you know, still moving kind of slowly, but I'll take what I can get, and I'm, I'm just really glad that we're moving in this direction. I, I've been frustrated with 80s and 90s action hero values since I was a kid. You know, I always thought, well, this, why are they going out of their way to make it, yeah, anyway. And, yeah, that's everything I had to say about that.